Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to uh, Let's Play Death Stranding. We are right now in a very, very dicey situation. As I see, I have misjudged the highway a little bit. Um, and we are actually currently a little bit not under attack, but there are obviously some mules around. And I should go over the bridge and then to the right in order to get to the wonderful highway. Come on, turn around. Here we are. Good we go. And of course, we are <laughs> in mule territory, which means that is not very, very cool. Um, when you are driving, of course, um, you can always try to knock them out. There's always um, working, but I'm always a little afraid that they actually catch us off guard, which means, well, nothing but badness. I wanted to take a look here. Okay, I had the hope that the highway got a little longer, but no, obviously not. So, ah, that's neat. They are obviously some accelerator pieces inside the highway. That is cool. As I said before, I think this is a very, very slow bike, but anyhow, what shall we do? What shall we do? The safest way to, uh, to traverse through this territory right here. Um, I'm, I'm So that was the mule camp on the other side. I'm on the one hand not certain why these rocks here are actually flying up. That is a little weird, but and how? Okay, we might be under attack here. And I would, um, for me, it would be a little, little cooler when it actually, um, if we could accelerate a little longer, and that the acceleration would not be just a little boost but be a big boost and um, put on longer that would be very very neat indeed I think and um, it, what you can see it um, I think it's um, the acceleration is abruptly ending there every time that is what I don't quite understand but anyhow why am I even complaining you have to say that this highway, of course, is one of the wonderful things of this game to traverse not only safely, but um, good through the country. I mean, imagine um, through um, here it wouldn't be that hard because there are no, not, not too, too many stones on the ground, rocks, but in the end the other... Okay, I was a little afraid there. The other um, rocky thing we traversed at the beginning or in the last episode was not that cool in my opinion. So anyhow, I'm glad that we are having this little highway here. That is very, very good. And that some people even put in some, well, let's put in some um, regeneration things. Um, so we have to do one wonderful thing. Shifting the weights, of course. Uh, let's grab that one, carry on back. Shifting, shifting, sh oh my goodness, that is really, really bad. And then let us finish this structure up. That would be very, very neat. Um, bu -bu 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 rebuild. And what does it need? It needs metal, ceramics, everything we have actually. So that it has ceramics, ceramics, and then 30 crystals it needs as well. And that should be it, confirming that. And then we have a quest finished, and that was very, very cool.
Okay, that's good. Um, I don't know why I did not do that before, but well, <laughs> fair enough. Oh goodness, um, I sh probably should have done that a little earlier. <laughs> if you see how many meters we um, actually traveled here, seven kilometers. That's insane, I think. Um, wouldn't have guessed that. So let's see um, whether we might get level up a little one. Level 97. Very, very neat. Okay. Great job, Sam. That road is a sight to behold. This is only the beginning. Creating a transport network that spans the continent is key to our future. That's why it's important that you utilize any and every paper you come across to rebuild our highways and byways. Imagine how much easier your work would be if you could drive from coast to coast. That is of course certain. So, um, so I, that is what I, um, what confuses me actually. If you take a little look at the highway, um, I'm not certain. I would say it uh, grew, but um, I don't know, of course, how many people are um, actually playing this game. But I think it did not grew. Uh, it didn't grow uh, long enough. Um, if so many people, anyhow. And why didn't anyone finish that piece here already? Okay, I don't know what kind of zoning is going on in the, uh, in this game. Um, anyhow, that shall not be the point. Let's actually take a quick look um, back at this and let's see whether we have a little station available if that is the case guys if that is the case that would be quite cool if I'll go to this wonderful terminal down here and maybe we then have another quest available that is what we are about to find okay there at least was an exclamation mark Okay, no orders for us. That is weird. Okay, anyhow. So then we, of course, need to, I need to get um, Name's Sam. it cracking. So if I take a little look at our orders, we have the confidential um, documents. Okay, then I'd say we do the um, confidential documents quest thingy there um which we can which we have to do okay i'd say first things first we are going to stash all our items um cargo except the hmm <laughs> Well, I don't need to stash those metals, do I? Okay. Okay, our road was used. Very, very cool. Other players are pleased with you. Three players, 130 likes. Okay, goodness, that is quite cool. Um, I did not expect that. So, guys, that right now actually, <laughs> consequently, leads us to the end of this episode we will in the next one travel back to the first location we've been um, and there we are going to um, there we are going to um, get the confident documents um, the of course obvious the um, obvious the the um, reason why I'm down here, we have the teleporta teleportation device available, which we will, of course, use. But, guys, that right now will lead... Thank you for your generosity. That leads us right now to the end of this episode. And you know it, I really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please, guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.